What an exciting day here at Brain Noise, because today I answer your questions. That's right. I challenged you. I posted on the web. I said, go ahead, ask me anything. And I might even answer some of these questions. Uh, let's get into it. Some of them were great, and uh, some of them really sucked. All right, Dennis McDonough from Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, Raleigh. What is it, Dennis? Is it, is it Raleigh or Raleigh or... Dear Orny, what is the biggest disappointment after making a name for yourself in stand-up comedy? Well, Dennis, the biggest disappointment is that I haven't made a name for myself in stand-up comedy. That I'm doing stuff like this. In fact, this, right now, might be my biggest disappointment. All right, question number two. Uh, we are cooking here. Comes from Jamie P. in Nashville, Tennessee. My question to you, Orny, when you come to visit Nashville, if you ever do, that's passive-aggressive. Will you send a limo for me to be picked up with all my girlfriends and give us tickets to the front row? No. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. I don't think you understand how this works, Jamie. I can't afford to fly into a city, then give away tickets to my show, and send limos to pick up groups of hot, horny, looking to have a good time bunch of girls. Did you send me a picture of you and your friends? That might, that might at least get me to Nashville. All right, question number three comes from David Michael Thurston. From Boy, you better have a lot of money with that name, David Michael Thurston. Or drop the Michael. Just become David Thurston. You, you want to play the three thing with Thurston? You better, you better bring it on. Bring it! From Phoenix, Arizona. So my question is, why don't comics promote other comics more? It's a good question. And there's a very simple answer. We hate each other. I think comics promote other comics. When we see a comic that is great, that's delivering the goods, that's killing with no hooks and original material, we're all very supportive. I love to see that. I'm rooting for that person. I want to see it more. But ultimately, I think, you know, there's a lot of jealousy. I mean, it's a very competitive business. There's a lot of backstabbing. And people feel threatened. People feel if they promote somebody, they could lose work to that person. Question number four, <clears throat> another serious one from Morgan in San Francisco. If you had to choose between having five foot long legs or constantly being followed by magical ducks that would never die, would never need to be fed, and would always be around you, which would you choose? Only San Francisco, right? I would, uh, I'm gonna have to go with, can other people see the ducks? I think I'm going with the ducks. I mean, how cool would that be to have, like, an entourage of ducks? I would just go, yeah, I'd have my ducks do the dirty work, too. I'd, I'd, I'd just go get sick, get him, attack, duck, attack. And I'd bring them into restaurants and play. Oh, these are my, uh, these are my seeing eye ducks. And, uh, and I would feed them even though they don't need to be fed. All right, let's do a relationship one. Number five, Cat, New Jersey asks, uh, Orny, do you think it is a bad idea to break up with someone via the game Hangman? No, absolutely not. It's quick, it's concise, it's to the point. Either it says, uh, I'm done with you, or, uh, or the person is hung. It's a win-win situation. I once broke up with somebody over the game Scrabble. I, I successfully spelled, uh, get the hell out of my house on a triple word score. Should beat that. All right, let's stay on topic here. Relationships number six. Oh, we're sizzling. Carol Ann, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm not full of myself or anything like that. I just wonder if there is a proper universal way to tell a guy that you think he's great, awesome, that you enjoy spending time with him, but for whatever reason, you aren't going to get romantic with him. And is there a way to not ruin the friendship? I don't think so. I think you're out of luck. I really do. Guys are guys. Guys have egos. I mean, if a guy is attracted to you and the guy wants to sleep with you, he's not going to not want to sleep with you anymore until he sleeps with you. So I guess you could sleep with him, and then he wouldn't want to sleep with you anymore, and you could be friends. Right? Fired up. That's a good one. What's the next question? Number seven, Evan from Houston, Texas. Who would you rather get stuck in an elevator with, Richard Simmons or Michael Jackson? Well, at first my head went to Richard Simmons uh, because we could work out. 
and I could burn calories and I'd feel better about myself having been stuck in that elevator for so long. But to meet Michael Jackson, I mean, how could you say no to that? I mean, I would love to see that nose in person. That's like one of the seven wonders of the world. How is that thing still stuck on? <clears throat> Number nine, uh, Michael Sparaccio from Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania asks. Somebody needs to Google that, Sinking Spring. Sounds a little made up to me. Uh, when did you know you wanted to be a comedian? Well, Michael, Michelle. It's Michelle Sparaccio. Sorry. Michelle from Sinking Spring. Uh, wow, now we can Google her. Uh, when did you know you wanted to be a comedian? I get asked that question all the time. I don't, I don't have a good answer. I don't know. There wasn't like some light bulb moment that went off in my head and, and said, be a comedian. I always liked making people laugh. I love to see people laughing. It brings me such, such pleasure. But there was never a moment that I said, I'm going to be a comedian. I wish I was, though. I wish I could go back and change it all. I really do. If you're an aspiring comedian, take my advice. Don't do it. Do not do it. It will ruin you. Number 10. Yes. Let's end on the gayest question of the group. Chad. Chad. From Albany, New York. Why is your hair so long? It looks better short. Well, Chad, and I know who this Chad is because he emails me all the time and he posts all over the web about me and I really appreciate his support. And I also know that he is in the military or he was in the military. So I think he fares men with short hair. But the truth of the matter is, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have this hair. So I'm, I'm letting it go. This is my, this is the last hurrah. That's your answer. Chatty. Chattykins. I just want to thank you, Chad, for being a guy who has such interest in my hair. Look at that, Chad, huh? It's getting longer. It's growing right in front of your eyes. That's crazy. I just checked uh, Chad's MySpace page and he's not gay. I didn't think he was, but I wanted to be 100% clear about that. Uh, anyway, had a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for sending me in the questions. Let's do this again sometime. This is Orny Adams for Brain Noise.